On behalf of the Washburn University Board of Regents, as well as Washburn and Washburn Tech faculty, administration, and staff, I welcome you to this commencement for the Washburn University Institute of Technology. Please stand and join me in welcoming Charles Kazar, who will sing the national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glow that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the seated. Thank you, Charles. Also, please join me in expressing thanks to Mrs. Norma Pettijohn, organist, for providing our music tonight. <clears throat> to the graduates, congratulations. To the friends and families, thank you for your enduring support. And to the faculty, thank you for the time and effort you constantly give to create an exceptional educational experience at Washburn. I would like to take this time to introduce the platform party. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all are introduced. Mr. John Lemon, technical instructor, cabinet millwork program and grand marshal. Dr. Eric Grospich, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Clayton Tatro, Associate Dean Instruction, Washburn University Institute of Technology. Dr. Richard Lidke, Executive Director of Enrollment Management. Ms. Cynthia Holthouse, Special Assistant to the President. Mr. Jim Martin, Vice President, Administration and Treasurer. Mr. Mark Wilson, Associate Dean of Student Services, Washburn University Institute of Technology. Dr. Laura Stevenson, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Pam Foster, Equal Opportunity Director. Mr. Mark Freed, University Council. Mr. Marshall Meek, President of Washburn University Foundation and Alumni Association. Mr. Mike Mustaine, President, Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors. 
Mr. Bill Sneed, Board of Regents. Mr. Clark Coco, Dean of Washburn University Institute of Technology. Mr. Terry Beck, Board of Regents. Mrs. Blanche Park, Board of Regents. Mr. John McGivern, Chair, Board of Regents. And Dr. Jerry Farley, Washburn University President. Please welcome me with applause. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Dean of Washburn Tech, Clark Coco. Good evening, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Students, family, friends, what a great evening to celebrate this opportunity. I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of Washburn Institute of Technology, and on behalf of the University Board of Trustees, Washburn University Board of Trustees and Administration, Washburn Tech faculty and staff and administration, I too would personally like to welcome all graduates, families, friends uh, to this very special event. As we begin these activities this evening, I would like to recognize some groups of folks. From the moment when a student thinks about coming to Washburn Tech to the phone call, to the walk-in on the sidewalk, to the enrollment, to the time of financial aid, to the time of enrollment in classes and entering into those classes and the placement of those students in those classes all the way through their program and into graduation. There are a group of people that are extremely, extremely important in these students' lives. Washburn Tech leads the state of Kansas in graduation rate and placement rate. That only happens because of our faculty and staff. At this moment, I would like to ask if you are part of the faculty and staff of Washburn Tech, would you please rise? Thank you. Thank you, job. Thank you. As students enter our, our campus, if you come in the north end of our conference center, there are three words on one of our taglines, and those words are imagine, inspire, and transform. Simply stated, that those are our students. Our students imagine what it might be like to be in one of our programs, and as they enter into that program, they become inspired. And as they enter through that program, as, uh, they will go on and be transformed, as you will see tonight. Imagine, inspire, transform. Those are our students. Some of the groups that I'd like to mention tonight and honor, if you are a member of one of these organizations, would you please stand after I announce that organization? At this time, it gives me great pleasure to uh, ask the students who are members of the National Technical Honor Society to please stand. National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Stay standing. Recently, we inducted 11 members into the organization which has recognized an excellent in career in technical education. Since joining this organization in 1990, Washburn Tech has now inducted over 807 members into the charter uh, membership of Washburn Tech's National Technical Honor Society. These students have shown exemplary leadership inside and outside the classroom, excellent attendance and commitment to their programs, cumulative grade point average of 3.0, and have been uh, suggested and nominated by their faculty and staff as good citizens. Students, thank you very much. You may be seated. Each year in the fall, we begin a process of involving our students in an organization called Skills USA. The Skills USA turns out to be we work throughout the year with our students on leadership and the skills of many uh, uh, industry standard certificates and testing that takes place of our students. Each year, we work through the fall in preparation for the spring. And as we approach into the spring, we approach what we consider our state tournaments and our Super Bowl at the end of the year and our national competitions. Students participating in Skills USA, some students here tonight, some students from last year's program. Last year's student we went to Hutchison in, uh, in April. Students from Washburn Tech brought home 89 state medals. No other institution in the state, any two-year college in the state of Kansas can match that number. Some of those students are sitting here tonight, 89 state medals. Of those 89 state medals, 40 of those students went on to national competition in Louisville, Kentucky. Freedom Hall, 18,000 people, students from all across the United States and a few international countries. 
40 students went and competed against the best. Of those 40 students, 29 of those students finished in the top 10 in the nation. Nine of those 29 finished in the top four in the nation. One set of student, one student finished second in the nation, and three students ended up being national champions. If you are a member of Skills USA or have participated in Skills USA, would you please stand? Thank you. Thank you very much. Another activity on our campus is a student activities board. Student activities board is a group of students that get together and think about how they can make our campus flourish and have more opportunities for our students on campus. Students this year have done an exceptional job, uh, so, far, job so far this year and will continue to do this all the way into the spring. So far on our campus in the fall semester, we've held Veterans Day ceremonies to recognize all Washburn Tech veterans, families, and friends. Organization, or we organized what we call our Super Bowl of flag football, the Turkey Bowl, and had a tournament and cook-off, a, a chili cook-off. Sponsored Toys for Tots. This is important. Toys for Tots in cooperation with the U.S. Marine Corps. Students sitting here today and members from this community a week ago put together 1,251 toys to be given to children who would not maybe have a toy available to them at Christmas time. Student Activities Board is also involved in the winter, the winter Wonderland, which is a fundraising activity for the community of Topeka. We plan and operate a, a care closet. Care closet uh, provides opportunities for students, whether it be clothing, whether it be gas cards. Uh, we want our students to know that we are there for them and there are resources for there for them when they are needed. Uh, our students participate in silent auctions and all kinds of activities uh, with our car show and our care closet to provide for uh, students and our community. We also have a safety committee. We believe that we want to be the safest campus. We want to be the safest campus in the United States. And we work very hard at that. This organization is also very involved in helping us pl make plans to keep our campus safe. Campus-wide open house. In the fall, we had over 800 students come visit our campus in one day. These students serve as our ambassadors to uh, our campus. And of course, also the Constitution. We value this country. We value how this country was founded. Constitution Day at our campus. If you are a participant in the Student Activities Board, would you please rise? Thank you very much. The last group that I will mention is very dear to my heart. My son is a soldier. We honor our recognition, or recognize our soldiers. We welcome them on our campus. We respect what they have done. We honor that they have uh, defended our country. If you are a veteran of the armed services, would you please stand? Thank you for your service. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Clark and congratulations to our students on their many accomplishments in 2017. At this time, I have the pleasure of introducing our president, Dr. Jerry Farley. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to all of you to come help us celebrate the achievements of these students. A university is a very unique organization, a unique place. It's a place where students come to learn, to learn a skill, to learn how to think, to learn how to communicate, to learn how to be a part of a broader community around us. And you, our students, have done a phenomenal job at succeeding with all of those goals. You're really quite unique. If you just think for a moment and you look around and know a little bit about what you see on television and what's happening in other countries, you know that there are not many countries where a person would have the opportunity to participate in education the way you have. You realize, just because of your presence here tonight, you realize that education is going to be the key to your success. 
In my opinion, education is the reason that we have the country we have today. It's the reason that we have the great middle class that we have today. We want you to be proud of your education. We also want you to recognize that this is just an intermediate stop along your way to continuing to become an educated person. An educated person. You know, I wonder what that means. I'm not sure that I can define what it is, but there are a few characteristics that I think we would all recognize. First of all, educated persons think. They think. They look at what the situation is around them, and I hope that educated person will listen to what is being said, learn from that, not being told how to think, but arrive at the conclusion yourself. What is it that I've just heard that will help me, help me grow? Think. It's an important part. It's what an employer will look for. Will you be able to think? The second mark of an educated person is that you solve problems. You're good at problem solving. You look at what the situation is. You assess it. You analyze it. You consider the options that are available to you. And then you map out a pathway to succeed. Thinking and problem solving are some of the most important things that we can do, but they only are as good as your ability to communicate. Can you tell others what you believe? Can you tell others what you are doing? Can you help others become better at what they are doing? You will all become leaders if you're not so already. You will all become trainers, helping other people to learn. And from, not, from tonight forward, this is not the end of your education. You will learn something every single day. You will have to commit yourself to a lifetime of learning to really succeed. And we hope we have given you some of the skills we hope we have imparted to you some of the inspiration that Dean Coco and the faculty and the staff create in an environment for you at the Tech Campus. We want you to be so successful. We want you to be so proud of what you learned at Washburn Institute of Technology that you will tell everyone you see that that's what you have done, that you have graduated from Washburn. And family members, thank you for helping these students through their career here at Washburn. They couldn't have done it without you, family, friends, fellow peer students. It's a great event that all have to participate in to have a true success. And tonight we're celebrating those successes. We're celebrating this congratulatory commencement. We're proud of you. We hope that you do well. And we're delighted that you came to Washburn Institute of Technology for your education. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Dr. Farley. We shall now proceed to the conferring of certificates. We ask that parents, relatives, and friends use one of the areas in front, to the right or left of the stage, designated for taking photographs so as not to obstruct the graduates or the professional photographers. Certificate candidates will be presented by Dean Coco. Okay, students. All candidates for certificate, please stand. Please stand, students. That's, that's you guys. All right. That's what we're here for tonight. President Farley. President Farley, those before you and in Estancia are candidates for the technical certificate. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their certificates, those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean Coco. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed 
the requirements for the appropriate certificate with all of the honors, the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please remain standing until directed by the marshals to come forward. Uh, I'm sorry, remain seated. Sit down. These two students have completed industry-recognized curriculum in building automation systems. David Savard. Blake Younger. Healthcare Pathway, instructor Jana Rowe. Abigail Johnson Hung. Sota Vilone. Sheila Louise Lamadu. GED graduates, instructors Mandy Cox, Robin Connors, and Katherine Peppers. Christopher Cadu. Karina Shavarvia. Angelica Hansen. Rachel Jones. Robin Unger. Advanced Systems Technology Instructors Chaz Havens, David Peralta, and Dennis Mergenmeyer. <laughs> Lucas Barnes, Skills Gold Medalist, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Jacob Box. Andre Lamont Foster. Eric Miller. Jonathan Williams. Hayden William Wright. Automotive Surface Technology, Instructors Emiliano Arzate, Michael Clauser, Robert Oswald, and Darren Dillingham. Johnny Ryan Edwards, ASC Student Certified Mopar Cap Level Zero. Wesley Edward Howell, ASC Student Certified Mopar Cap Level 1. Mario Marcus Munoz, ASC Student Certified. Brian Lane Nelson, ASC Student Certified. Eric 
Sanchez, Mopar Cap Level 1. Cole S. Potts, ASC Student Certified, Mopar Cap Level 1. Cabinet and Millwork, Instructor John Lemon. Anthony Joel Gifford. Elizabeth Marie Kampfer. Dustin Edward Legler, perfect attendance. Brandon Lee Miller. Cosmetology, instructors Teresa Huttenmeyer and Michelle Legg. Emily Brianne Cairo. Mika Carrizo. <laughs> Ashley Michelle Cortez. Odalis De La Cruz. Sarah Dean. Holly Amber Link. Peyton Deanne Lowry. Alexandria Patterson. Megan Elizabeth Pete. Kendall Elizabeth Prather. Alyssa Nicole Ramirez. JC Melissa Swart. Emergency Communications, Instructor Don Fry. Julie Morris. Emergency Medical Technology, Instructor Wayne Hollis. Rogelio Alegria. Christina Appleford. David Arnold. Natalie Barrett. Thomas Bryan. Zachary Burris. Cameron Cruz. Cole Dagan. Vincent Dick. Yeah. 
Victoria Marie Douglas. Estafana Garcia. Kaylin Charlene Hopkins. Timothy Ezerman. Dustin Lane Masters Ralston. Tierra Rashawn Parker. Felicity Price. Joshua West. Graphics Technology Instructor Pam Manning. West Everts. Darian Michael Nims. Lakin Podrabaric, National Technical Honor Society. Matthew Ryan Stauffenberg Reeb. Sarah Walter, National Technical Honor Society Skills Bronze Medalist. Healthcare Technology, Joanne Walker, Rebecca Berner, and Rhonda Haverkamp. Isabella Ayala Hinkle. Isabella Ayala Hinkle. Asia Padilla. Erica Jade King. Elizabeth Artiega. Isabel Lee Bayless. Noah Keith Nelson Bayless. Michaela Nicole Bingham. Hannah Lee Blick. Sierra Nore Bowie. Jacob William Busey. Cody Carter. Hannah Cobbler. Kevin Davidson. Carly J. Deal. Kirsten M. Dorn. Megan Riley East. 
Lauren Ann Ellis. Ayana Precious Etchison. Yureli Fernandez Rivera. Alexandria M. Frakes. Haley Nicole Frangoschak. Norma I. Galvin. Oh, I love this name. I just do. Geraldine Garcia. Miranda D. Groff. Haley M. Grissett. Haley Elizabeth Gwaltney. Jensen Nicole Hahn. Alyssa Nicole Henry. Yoselyn Hernandez. Laura J. Imes. Kylie Lynn Imenshu. Ashton J. M. Jack. Precious L. Jackson. Jasmine Juarez Sola. Kimberly K. Kalka. Michaela Nicole Lane. Caitlin Renee Mollick. Yeah, this is my girl. Taylor R. Manuel. <laughs> Burley Martinez Mraz. <laughs> Mackenzie K. McGuire. <laughs> Teresa Mraz. Favorite shoes yet. Courtney Lynn Miller. Jamiko M. Mitchell. Shalom Naomi Nava Gutierrez. Tiffany Rose O'Keefe. Yeah. Hannah Ortiz. Ty Jackson Packard. Aaron Dale Perry. Jamie Samantha Perez Vasquez. Jonathan Lee Rakestraw. Claire Sales. Angelica Marie Sharp. Haley Lynn Schwantz. Yeah. 
Jacob Michael Simmons. Ivy M. Simpson. Michelle Danielle Singer. Dina Shari Spalding. Shanna Rain Simpson. Vanessa Alexandria Smith. Dulce M. Soda. Sierra Lachey Stallon. Sierra L. Stanley. Sky Stanley. Mary Gabrielle Stillian. Anna Elizabeth Stockman. Peyton Ann Strom. Darcy J. Somerville. Mark Willis Taylor. Rebecca Lynn Thompson. Dylan J. Tidwell. Danisha Monet Timley. Haley Page Trago. Marissa June Twombly. Julia Ann Webb. Megan R. White. Haley Lynn Williams. Next up is locomotive diesel technician instructor Jay Toby. Jeremy T. Holm. Next program, Fast Track Machine Tool, Richard Anderson, Instructor. Carrie Ann Freeze, NIM Certified GD. I'll try. Barton Edward Homan. Chairperson Student Advisory Board, Machine Tool Technology, NIM Certification. Next program, Machine Tool Technology, Instructor Dale Schaefer. Eric Rios Martinez. Office Technology, Business Bookkeeping and Accounting is the next program. Instructor Russell Henshaw. Jennifer Cologne. Sarai Rain. Next program, legal office professional instructor Lynn Dawson. Amy E. Hendricks. Member of the Student Advisory Board. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't really care what you do. 
Irene Chantel Heiston, National Technical Honor Society, member of the Student Advisory Board. <laughs> Jessica L. Rose. <laughs> Adrian Valencia, National Technical Honor Society. Medi Next program up is the Medical Office Special Instructor, Diane Stump. Chelsea Diana Elkins. Shannon Marie Kelly. Next program, phlebotomy instructor Kimberly Young. Shelly Ariana Cortez. Jessica Nicole Callen. Victoria Marie Ferrison. Janelle Hamilton. I love that name. Jacqueline Hernandez. Justina DeMay Johnson. Emily D. Kennedy. <laughs> Brittany Elaine Lacey, perfect attendance. Jabrell and Lewis L. I can see why. Crystal Don Metzger. <laughs> Bailey Tate Robertson. <laughs> Jennifer Jean Stowers. Samantha Leanne Taylor. Megan Renee Vernon. Warford. Angel D. Warford. Practical nursing program instructors Nicole Wade, Stephanie Silk, Kathy Homan, and Belinda Eckert. Janet Mignon Alston. <laughs> Jessica Lee Barth, National Technical Honor Society. Crystal and Bartholomew. Andrea May Brant, National Technical Honor Society. Ashley Danielle Christopher. Rebecca T. Church. Patricia Ann Clemens. Mary Elizabeth Crabtree, Skills Gold Medalist, National Technical Honor Society. Crystal Olivia DeLacy, National Technical Honor Society. Alexis K. McKenzie Fritz, National Technical Honor Society. Hey. 
Brianna Lynn Haig. Renee Sue Haney. Danielle W. Hiles Jones, National Technical Honor Society. Masera A. Jallo. Courtney Suzanne Jones. Make it easy, Mark. Maeve Catherine Martin. Gemma Paola Mengia, National Technical Honor Society. Amanda Marie Neal. Brooke Elaine Rowley. Next up is Fast Track Welling Instructors, Lester Green and Jordan Rosovich. Caesar F. Barron, American Welding Society, and it just received his GD. Nicholas Martin Bernal, American Welding Society. Jacob H. Brooks, American Welding Society. Waheed Burnside, American Welding Society, and received his GED. Julianne Dean Corbett. Jacob Diaz, American Welding Society. Jason E. Eras, American Welding Society, and received his GD. Leo Perez Olivas, American Welding Society. Ray David Fuentes, American Welding Society, and received his GD. Mark Andrew Garlic. Welding 3G and received his GD. Danielle Jackson. Caressa Jackson, GD and welding. Sheila D. Shelberg, American Welding Society. John D. Logan, American Welding Society. Christopher Andrew McMahon, American Welding Society. Daryl F. Mellard, American Welding Society. Justin Owens, American Welding Society. Blake Pearson, American Welding Society, and he received his GED. Dominic I. Satani, received his GED as well. Frank Lee Suggs, American Welding Society. Christian Ariana Thurman, American Welding Society, and received his GD. Kimberly A. White, American Welding Society, and received her GD.
Today you've been part of a graduation exercise from 19 of Washburn Tech's programs. We are proud to welcome 300 technical certificate graduates as new alumni of Washburn Institute of Technology. Please join me in recognizing these impressive individuals for their accomplishments by offering them a round of applause. Thank you. Before concluding the ceremony, graduates, I would like to underscore that this is a moment of transition. You entered Lee Arena as the final step in completing your time as a Washburn Tech student. And as you leave today, you begin your exciting future by joining thousands of proud Washburn University alumni. In that regard, it is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Mike Mustaine, President of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors. Thank you, Dr. Mazichek, President Farley. On behalf of more than 44,000 living Washburn alumni, I congratulate you on your graduation from Washburn Institute of Technology. You are joining the ranks of alumni from across the nation who all have the same thing in common. We're all Ichabods. Like them, you have developed a permanent and lasting relationship with Washburn. As such, your continued involvement will help shape Washburn for the generations of Ichabods who will follow in your footsteps. Throughout the rest of your life, the Alumni Association will keep you connected to Washburn Tech and your classmates. Today, our graduation gift to you is a complimentary one-year membership in the Alumni Association. Simply claim it and it's yours. Membership information is outlined on the post postcard on your chair. Don't be afraid to get involved and be part of the fun. Your fellow Ichabod alumni will welcome you with open arms. Keep in mind, Washburn Tech's reputation is built on the success of its graduates. We all know you will go on to do great things, whether it's be starting a new career or continuing your education. On this day of graduation, we wish you happiness, good health, and prosperity. Congratulations. Before concluding the ceremony, will all graduates please rise and remain standing. Graduates, this is an important part of the ceremony. Please be sure your tassel is on the right side of your cap. Congratulations, graduates. As a symbol of your great achievement, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the fall 2017 graduating class of Washburn Institute of Technology.